Okay, this is a video on how to change out an anode rod on a Bradford white heater. Whether it's an electric heater or an atmospheric vent that has a metal vent that comes off the top or a power vent like in this case, it's the same process on all three. So if you have a standard residential Bradford white heater, I'm gonna teach you how to change the anode rod out on the unit. Now it has unions on the hot and cold so you can easily disconnect the piping. That's a code in Minnesota and it's all around just a good idea so that it's simple to change out the anode rod. So let's go ahead and disconnect this and I'll show you how it's done. So we're gonna loosen the nut on the union and we'll disconnect that. Now that can separate from the lower part of the union without having to cut any pipe. Now we're gonna take the bottom part of the union off of this nipple. This goes into the tank, but it's also a one piece anode rod that goes three feet into the tank, which you'll see when we disconnect it. Sometimes you can get lucky and the whole rod will come out together. So we'll see if that happens today. And it does. And there's always a little bit of water that comes out of the piping, so it's good to keep a rag handy to just let that soak up the water. Now the channel locks we're using, it's good to have something that has a skinnier width to it so that it can connect in between this portion of the union and the tank. If you have a wider channel lock, it can be difficult to grip that. So we're just, we've already loosened it, so now we're gonna take the anode rod out and see if it needs changing. So this is an anode rod. It's basically a sacrificial rod. It's a small piece of steel. This little wire goes all the way through the rod. And this is magnesium or aluminum. And it's just there to be sacrificed by the water that wants to absorb minerals when it's being heated up. It's actually called a sacrificial rod. So when you have a, a large amount of the rod that's been deteriorated like this, electrolysis, the process by which this is eroded, goes flat ways, not up and down. So in this case, we would actually change out this anode rod as long as we have it out. So we're gonna show you what it looks like to put a new one in. So here you can compare side by side. Here's the old rod, which has begun to deteriorate. And here's the fresh aluminum rod that we're going to install. So basically I just have to take this portion of the union, take it off of this nipple, put it on there, and there's no other rework of piping that's necessary. So now I just have pipe wrenches in two different directions and I'm going to back this fitting off until I get to a point where I can disconnect it off of the old anode rod. And at that point we'll put this on the new anode rod. Now sometimes the old regulator can get stuck inside of here. So you just grab onto that with your channel lock and spin it out. As you can see, there's a new regulator inside of the new nipple. So now this can be connected and then tighten it in with wrenches. And after you feel like it's about a half a turn beyond snug and you feel like it's made in, then we need to put Teflon tape and dope on those threads before we insert it back in the tank. So any pipe thread compound will work. The blue is a really good lubricant and it helps to seal the threads. And then we put in some Teflon tape, enough to seal the threads when they go into the female threads. Then we're ready to insert into the water heater. So now we're just going to take the anode rod, place it into the heater, and we can thread that into the tank itself. So 
Now we're going to tighten this in to the tank itself. And it's, you probably can't thread this too tight by hand. When it's too difficult for you to turn anymore, maybe give another little oomph and uh, then you'll know that it's made into the tank and you won't have any gaps in the threads that it seals properly. So at this point, it's pretty difficult to turn, so I squeeze the pliers really hard and give it another eighth of a turn. And then we're ready to put the union back together. Give that a quarter turn. One last for making it in snug. And that's how you change out an anode rod.